Okay, so this is a demo of Netscope's SaaS security posture management. And SSPM helps customers identify and remediate risky SaaS app misconfigurations and align security posture and best practices and compliance standards. Now, Netscope currently supports posture detections for Microsoft Office 365, Salesforce, and GitHub. So I'm logged into the dashboard here, uh, Security Posture Dashboard, and a couple things I wanna point out. First and foremost is we support more than nine compliance profiles and nearly 100 different uh, compliance rules. Checks are performed every 15 minutes to an hour, and that's configurable. And then we provide guided remediation steps uh, as well. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So here we get a, a summary of the, of the findings overall. Um, with regards to what has failed, what's passed, and, and the total number. And then you also get a trend over time, in this case, the last uh, seven days. And then we can scroll through and look at all the results. Now let's go ahead and start out by filtering on a couple of these. And let's start with Office 365. And it turns out that it looks like there's a number of different uh, failed findings for Office 365. And if we go through and, and look at a couple of these, or let's spotlight one of these, probably arguably the most common that we see is uh, ensuring that multi-factor authentication is enabled. And this is, I think we know that a lot of people don't do this. And so we've detected this, uh, you get the definition, you get the guided remediation steps. And the idea here is when the customer performs these steps after the next scan that will be detected, and the red will turn to a green. You also get a look at what uh, compliance benchmark was actually triggered as part of this, and it's the CIS Office benchmark in this particular uh, example. So that's Office 365, a number of different um, uh, uh, rules and, and what have you. Let's filter by another one. Let's uh, go ahead and look at uh, Salesforce. And for Salesforce, again, it looks like there's uh, 22 failed uh, findings uh, in Salesforce. Uh, uh, one that I want to point out in particular is uh, they're all important, but this one is extremely important, and that is cross-site scripting protection. And this is something you could simply enable in Salesforce, but apparently uh, it's very common that people don't. So our system detects this, um, provides the remediation steps, and as you could see, these are pretty straightforward steps. And then again, the uh, compliance benchmark in this case is best practices uh, for Salesforce. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at one additional, and that is going to be uh, GitHub. Uh, for GitHub, looks like there were uh, 10 failed findings in our uh, particular example. And the one that we want to, uh, let's go ahead and spotlight here, very common one, once again, is ensuring that repositories are set to private. And this is a big issue uh, that we see where uh, they're often set to public. And so, um, in many cases, that's by accident. So being able to ensure that you have that configuration in place to make sure that, that those uh, repositories are set to private, uh, the remediation steps to follow, and again, the compliance uh, uh, benchmark in this case is uh, GitHub uh, best uh, practices. So you get the uh, rundown again of the individual uh, compliance, um, um, you know, uh, violations. You can also create compliance reports. You can uh, generate uh, reports uh, through a PDF that'll make your auditors happy. And you get this as a continuous uh, security posture check thanks to our API integrations, in this case with uh, Salesforce, Office 365, and GitHub. So that is Netscope SaaS Security Posture Management. Thank you very much.